Hello, it's Mervi. Today's agenda is a little sketchbook spread with gouache. I wanted to practice um, my. I wanted to practice practice gouache, and I wanted to practice my uh, brushwork. Uh, this was like fourth time I think I've done gouache, so yeah new thing for me still and uh, I wanted to create this um, little spread of sort of autumn stuff autumn colors and autumn kind of elements and uh, the the first thing I painted in in this spread is this bird it's a robin I believe European robin for uh, for more um, detailed name uh, uh, and it's um, I don't usually draw or paint birds so it was a bit of a bit of a practice to <laughs> to do this because uh, it's uh, not something I'm I'm comfortable with painting painting birds in general but I like the colors of this bird and I wanted some sort of an animal in this spread and I felt uh, a bird a, a autumn colored bird like this European robin would be nice this uh, this whole thing was in part also to kind of fill fill this sketchbook because I've been having uh, trouble with filling it I've started to overthink it a lot um, kind of um, worried that stuff I do in this sketchbook is not good enough which is kind of silly because first of all not all art has to be good or <laughs> I don't know how do you define even good art but you know doesn't have to be perfect and uh, so yeah I I, uh, I have been overthinking the whole whole sketchbook thing um, and um, so yeah I, I needed to just do something in it I know this sort of gouache work is not the you know the least least overthinky stuff but but uh, at least I was was doing something in the sketchbook, and uh, yeah, because I wanted to practice gouache, I, I felt doing something in the sketchbook with gouache was a good idea. I'm not a huge fan of this sketchbook; it's a bit too soft and porous paper, so um, it's even. A it feels to me a bit, bit too soft for sketching with pencils, which I think it's meant for originally, but I don't like the feel of it. It's, it makes everything a bit messy when I'm, I'm using pencils. Uh, so um, that's why I'm doing gouache, because <laughs> I, I think it works best in this sketchbook. I don't this, this sketchbook is not meant meant for gouache, but it, it's what works best here. Maybe watercolors too, but um, the paper is a bit too thin for, for watercolors. It gets... Um, it, it breaks down a bit. But yeah, the surface of the paper is a bit too, um, too soft for my taste, so not completely happy with the sketchbook but um, live and learn I actually don't know what this is called in English or oh, do I know it in Finnish it's called Hevos Castanio which is like horse um, what is Castanio I should know this well it's a um, this thing it's a seed it's a seed of a tree and it's uh, not edible 
it's apparently a bit poisonous I think and um, but they look fun these little seeds and uh, they um, they are interesting because you can use them for you can use them as soap for uh, for instance for washing um, laundry you just kind of need to um, soak the, the seeds um, put the seeds in pieces and soak them in in water and they create this soap kind of stuff well nevertheless um, I'm not happy with all of the uh, things I did on this spread um, but I like the colors I like this leaf it's uh, very vivid very uh, vibrant color um, I didn't quite nail what I wanted to do with the leaf but uh, it's fine for a, a practice work and for this sketchbook and next time maybe I know what to do better I don't know we'll see nevertheless uh, here is is another thing in the this in this spread and it's a leaf very simple but you know leaves are kind of an autumn thing the red and uh, orange and yellow and brown leaves that fall from the trees very autumn thing and so yeah I created different things um, kind of autumn elements here and uh, I'm not extremely happy with this mushroom um, but yeah I wanted to try something different I usually paint and draw different kinds of mushrooms so this one I, I wanted to try something I don't usually maybe do and again wanted to do something in very very autumn colors although I think mushrooms generally are very autumn colored. They are brown and they are a bit orangey and and all those things yellow and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. But again it was uh I wanted to see if I can uh, or how the how my brush will work works and um, see what I can do with different kinds of brushes and gouache and this uh, mushroom is supposed to be a bit hairy so I tried to create that soft hairy surface I don't know if it worked out uh, I think these acorns are maybe one of my favorite things in this spread they worked out nicely uh, not perfect but pretty nice um, one of them the kind of middle one there is uh, is the best in my opinion the, the uh, shape of it worked out the best uh, but that was um, yeah that was because of my brushwork. I was a bit unsure of how to create that shape, and uh, on the two others, I messed it up a bit. But you know, mess is part of art, like I like to say. Like some someone called it my mantra, so I guess <laughs> it's a bit of my mantra. Mess is, mess is part of art. You know, sometimes messy art uh, is very cool too. I know some 
some people prefer a bit messy art, you know, very loose art. So um, here I was kind of trying to be precise, but loose at the same time, which uh, I don't know if it worked out, but mm, it was it was something I tried to do. So yeah, towards the end of this this uh, spread, I kind of grew tired so some of the uh, the elements towards the end didn't quite work out like I wanted them to work out mm, and one of them I'm, I'm showing you the work because like I said this is part of art um, the, the rose hip there but I'm speeding a bit through it because it's um, I didn't like how it turned out and it became pretty messy and I w should have uh, I kind of thought about redoing it another day but I decided not to get too um, obsessed with this one spread in my sketchbook so I left it as it is but yeah it wasn't perfect uh, this little branch it's a uh, it's a very common tree in Finland I actually don't know what it's called in English uh, it's Pihlaja um, in Finnish and it I, maybe I know it but I forgot but anyway it has these very sour sour uh, red berries and um, I like how sour they are <laughs> they are very good and they are very uh, they are for an acquired taste for sure uh, when we were kids when I was a kid uh, with other kids we would take a, um, like a handful of these and compete if uh, who, who, who could uh, eat the berries um, without uh, making making any faces like scrunching their face or, or laughing or anything like that just kind of uh, as neutral face as possible country kids we didn't have much to do uh, in 80s and 90s so yeah that's what we did it berries <laughs> so sad um, I think the the th stuff that works best on this spread well besides the bird I, I I like the bird it worked out well but the other stuff that works the best on this spread is the stuff that's kind of simple like those acorns and uh, and uh, pine cone too and that branch with the berries but yeah I don't hate what I did here it's just not all perfect but like I said uh, sketchbook I need to I need to be less precious about my sketchbook here or my art in general and kind of let things happen this is part of art Anyway, we are coming towards the end of this thing, the maple leaf only left and um, it's another one that didn't work out quite as well I wanted to. It's I tried to um, kind of echo the colors of the, the, uh, the bird, the robin there, the, couldn't quite nail the same orange. The, the orange I created for the uh, robin was perfect and I didn't quite get it here quite a, like I wanted. But anyway, this is what I made, made the other day in my sketchbook and um, I hope you enjoyed watching this and listening to me to ramble. And if you'd like to see and hear more of this stuff, please... Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and please like and comment 
leave some sort of a comment on what you would like to see on this channel maybe or if you like gouache yourself or whatever what you want to say so i'll see you around bye